I'll, I'll take the win. You know, it was a little bit sloppy tonight. Uh, we obviously walked too many guys, gave too many free bases. Uh, played pretty good defense other than a couple outfield throws, went to the wrong base. Uh, infielders did a good job. Um, you know, and we, we took advantage. First couple innings, we, we swung at a bunch of uh, ball fours. Uh, we should have walked three or four times in that first couple innings. Uh, and then we did a good job of, of, you know, taking our walks and then got, you know, got, got two big hits and knocked them in. And then uh, Max again with a big hit. Um, later in the game to, to try to answer when they score a couple runs. So um, we did enough tonight to win the game. So well, we got to be better. Uh, offensively, we got to be better on the mound. And, and again, we, we haven't pitched like that all year, I don't think. So, um, you know, the guys will bounce back tomorrow. Uh, but uh, we got to play better. Can't expect uh, to win a lot of games like that. So uh, uh, sloppy, but we'll take it. No, you know, he, was, he was really bad the first inning. Just had zero command. Uh, breaking ball wasn't there. Uh, fastball was uh, all over the place. Um, and then settled down. And second through uh, fifth inning, really, um, he was a lot better. In the sixth inning again, he started to leave the ball up again, getting high pitch count. So uh, just with the fastball being elevated, we had to get him out of there. Uh, but uh, I thought he bounced back great. Uh, just once he got locked in, it was just this was a situation where he just didn't have much feel in the first. Uh, but once he kind of found the feel of the fastball command and, and found the breaking ball, then. Uh, Pitched a whole lot better, so proud of him for not, you know, hitting the panic button and being able to bounce back. So that was good. Yeah, you know, he's done a great job. I mean, that was kind of, you know, and just trying not to, you know, obviously be not throwing off the mound for a year and, and not pitching in a real game. Um, you know, last thing to really come is feel. You know, and that was that was his thing. Is the velocities was there, you know, early on in January, but the feel wasn't wasn't as good as the other guys, and so just. Um, and, you know, as he's gotten more mound time and felt more comfortable being out there and just and just continued to mature and stuff, um, you know, he's been a lot a lot better in being able to throw a lot more strikes, command the zone, breaking ball for strikes, which you know again early on it wasn't there, and that's and that's one of the other things. Breaking ball usually is the last thing, you know, breaking ball and command, and so that's really come along and and he's been able to step up and do a great job, um, and help, you know, helping us you know, win the last two weekends and on Friday night. It's been big. Yeah, I mean, we just took our walks, you know, obviously we, we didn't hit the ball hard, but we got we took the walks and, and then we did get the hit, we were able to do a lot of damage. I mean, you couldn't place those balls any better, not only uh, down the line past the third baseman, but, you know, to, they were kind of shading their left fielder into the into the gap, so had a long way to go. And the guys did a great job on first of running hard and, and being able to score three runs on, on ground balls. I mean, that's you don't see that very often, so... Um, you know, we did enough. We took our walks. Again, first two innings we didn't. Didn't have anybody on base. Um, you know, those next two innings we got, we took our walks. We didn't swing ourselves out of at bats, and then we were able to, to get the big hit and, 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 you know, open the game up. Yeah, I mean, again, just throwing strikes. I mean, we just had zero command. Um, you know, good job of getting out of it. You know, Hep comes in there with the guys on and, and shuts down that inning. And then, but then just goes out and walks a bunch of guys and, and puts a bunch of bases on and, and the guys on. And Thad comes in and... It was just okay in that inning, but got out of it without any too too much damage. Uh, still, that next inning he was, you know, still it's erratic, uh, just not as crisp as they have been. Those two guys, especially, and then, of course, that figures it out in the ninth and, and really gets back into it and, and pitches like he should in that inning. So, and we just get. Uh, I don't know if it's there's obviously a lot of stuff going on. You know, Larry Boa and Charlie Manuel and Fred McGriff are here watching. You know, guys tonight, I don't know if that had something to do with it, but we just looked like we were trying to do too much overthrow and things like that. Uh, a lot of scouts here, so we just got to get back to being us. Uh, you know, I, I know there's going to be a lot of different things. One thing I know that we're going to do every day, though, is pitch. I trust those guys, so you know, we just got to, you know, we haven't done that all year. So uh, we just get back to what we do good tomorrow uh, give us a chance to win. Yeah, I mean, it's huge. You know, again, I've talked about a lot. Just knowing that he's supposed to be in our dugout it just means a lot to me. Um, you know, it means a lot to a lot of the players that grew up with him and stuff. And just to do our part uh, to somebody, and not only that, you know, he's supposed to be in our dugout, but somebody that cared and loved UCF so much and wanted to be here so bad, and you know, to commit and be a local kid so early and uh, dream about coming to play here. Um, you know, I wish there was more kids like that. Um, and uh, just a shame that somebody that. Wanted to come here because he wanted to come here, not because it was the only option, or not because you know somebody else. You know, we were second choice. Like this was, this was his dream, and so for somebody like that to not be able to, to live out that dream, and obviously I know it's hard for his family to be here, um, and, and know that they should be watching their son play, um, and they don't get that opportunity. So it's just a great relationship that I have built um, because I know, you know, again, I, I just feel that he's supposed to be here. And I think about it a lot. And, you know, I try to teach 
all the guys that don't know him just about him and his family and how much he means to this program and how much he means to the other guys and uh, that you know they're lucky and that when you know we don't play as well as we do tonight I think it definitely is a lot easier to handle when you understand the circumstances that you could be in and, and that um, you know it's, it's just a game um, so it's good to raise money try to help again try to do something for the community uh, there's nothing better you know I've raised money every year um, but never had a cause this close that felt like not only for our team but also for the community and the fact that he's a local kid and, and meant so much to so many people and was such a good kid and cared so much about others uh, to be able to help the foundation out that will give back to the, the local community and hopefully um, you know cure the disease or help out with families that are going through the same exact thing so a small part but you know we want to try to give back not only to our family but to the community and uh, you know this is a great night and uh, means a lot to us and means a lot to me personally so and it's, it's always good to get a win so hopefully Joe is watching over us tonight.